What's up everybody, my name is Ray. Now if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I love New Jersey. And who is it that we love here in New Jersey? That's right, Bruce Springsteen, the boss. Today we're gonna go check out some really amazing street art of Bruce Springsteen. It's really cool, come with me. Here we have it, Bruce Springsteen and Clarence Clemens, right here in front of this gas station. Two titans of rock and roll, done in sort of like a, a sea monster kind of style. Um, you know, kind of fitting considering how they rose up from the murky depths of the Jersey Shore to unleash rock and roll on an unsuspecting world. Well, let's get a good look at the detail here. We got Bruce right here. Looks like it's uh, almost like a real leather jacket in there maybe. And the whole thing is encrusted with all these seashells. Actual seashells. Really amazing. Just look at them all. It looks like they, they actually integrated an actual guitar and a sculpture. Very cool. Let's take a look at his feet. And right next to him, we have the big man, Clarence Clemens, saxophone player of the E Street Band, a man who is sadly no longer with us, but his legacy lives on through his rock and roll and this incredible statue we have right here. Now, when I saw pictures of this, he was the same uh, sort of teal green color of Bruce, but it looks like he's been painted uh, gold and red. Really cool. Uh, oh, there's some people yelling. But yeah, let's look at all these uh, seashells here. Incredible. Such a beautiful color scheme here. Yeah. Just look at these guys. How cool is that? So it almost looks like these things are made out of uh, great stuff, foam sealant. Very interesting choice of uh, materials to make a statue out of. But it, uh, it really makes it look like, like sea foam, like, you know, murky depths of the Jersey Shore. Kind of appropriate when you think about these two guys and their legacy. Just, just look at this cape of seashells and sea foam we have here. And now, these statues are made by a guy named Steven Zorochin, the artist. Great work. If you're watching this, keep up the good work. You're making amazing stuff. Well, let's just walk around the front one more time. Get a look at these guys. Absolutely incredible. So cool. I love it. How cool are these guys? Think maybe they'll let me join the band? So now we're gonna head to another spot and see another statue of Bruce Springsteen by the same artist. Now this artist's name is Steven Zorochin. Hope I'm saying that the right way. When I was in Lambertville, um, fairly recently, I saw another statue in the same style as the Bruce and Clarence Clemens statues, that sort of a seafoam pattern. It was in the bed of a pickup truck and it looked to be a boxer. I'm not sure who exactly it was supposed to depict, but it was definitely the same artist, same style. Really cool to see. Um, hope I can find out more about that. So I know I said we were gonna find another statue of Bruce Springsteen. It was supposed to be here, but apparently it's not. I don't know what happened to it. If anybody happens to know where this one is, please leave a comment down below and I'll go check it out. But anyway, those were amazing statues. I love them. Um, shout outs to the artist. You make some great stuff. And shout outs to you, Mr. Springsteen. Continue being awesome and doing everything you do. My name is Ray. My channel is Ray Out There. If you like this video, please subscribe to see my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.